<laughs> We're here again, folks. We're here again. <laughs> My favorite intro song of all time. And I'm going to be using it for a Harry Potter video. Isn't it mind blowing? Oh, there she is. My Twi'lek. You sing it, girl. It's going to be so appropriate for this video, trust me. Ooh. Come on, baby, hit me. Hit me one more time, Brittany. Space fans, exciting news, huh? And there's even more in part two. Hello, this is your television speaking. Let's push the button marked idiot mm -hmm. and see what comes out. You're tired. You should go to sleep with... And if you want more madness where that came from, folks, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. But four days away from now, we are getting the brand new Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Legacy. And why do you think I am talking about this today? Because the review embargo has been released like the Kraken when it takes a big fat fart in the sea. And what do critics have to say about this game, which was produced and developed by Avalanche Games, the same people behind that Mad Max game that people seem to have forgotten about already. And right about now, my funks are brothers and sisters, it's time for a SpongeBob interlude. A few moments later. So as you can guess already, all the trans activists are going completely mad, losing their minds because mainstream media, for the most part, have given Hogwarts Legacy astounding positive reviews. Uh, so this uh, statement right here on Twitter, on Saturday, February the 4th, I was made aware of the extensive and blatant ad campaign for Hogwarts Legacy on Twitch, utilizing and interrupting streams to promote this offensive product. Hogwarts Legacy is a product ultimately funding JK Rowling, whose well-documented stance on trans people remains firmly rooted, could be booted actually, in a callous disregard for human life. Here here we go. Therefore, I will not be streaming to Twitch while this ad campaign remains active. I call on every streamer to join me in taking a stance against bigotry, hatred, and those who support such views. Well, you know what? I can always play the race card if they come after me because I guess I just can. Whoa, Drunk 3PO, he's dropped in now. These people are insane. Yes, my friend, indeed they are. <laughs> and great content. <laughs> What's <up>? YouTube. <laughs> Let's go. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Dreamcast guy. What? People are giving this an 88 on Metacritic? I'll get to that part in a moment. Trust me, I will. <laughs> but this is absolutely glorious. I saw a really funny GIF for this game, actually. And I don't know how. Oh, it's all of a sudden now. It's just completely vanished. I had all these things bookmarked and it's all gone to sunder. So German strands, Hogwarts Legacy Reviews, hashtag PS5, Carol Quintain, 10 out of 10, Mew PlayStation, as opposed to a new PlayStation, 10 out of 10, Glitch Africa, pretty much the same, PSU, 9.5 out of 10, you forgot the 5 there for some reason, guys, uh, Tierra or Tiara Gamer, 9.5, oh, it's them again, beg your pardon, oh, 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 uh, IGN, 
9 out of 10. Why, you couldn't give it a maximum 10 out of 10 IGN? IGN Spain, 9 out of 10. PSX Brazil, you kind of get the drift right. Everybody is giving this thing more than a 8. Well, I do say that because I found somebody online who, when you see who they are, you will be, it won't be a surprise at all. But here we go to this little strange person right here. But before I get Hogwarts to them... Hogwarts Legacy mm -hmm. is becoming a perfect demonstration of yes. how the activists on Twitter have only as much power as they're given. Despite a months long sustained <laughs> campaign to bully and silence anyone speaking positively about Brianna the upcoming Wu. release, Not it's really currently a woman. sitting in the number one spot on Steam. Yeah. I'm sure JK Rowling is devastated by the boycott. <laughs> That's a good one of Woody Harrelson. The topic uh -oh. seem to die, so let me make something very clear. If you buy the Hogwarts Legacy, yes. game, you are contributing to transphobia. I am. Even if you consider yourself an ally, even if you yourself are trans, you are contributing to transphobia. And that is not I'm an not. opinion. It's a fact. J.K. Rowling, both through the words she says and direct financial contributions, is signal boosting and enabling multiple groups and individuals who are actively pushing for the stripping away and restricting of rights of trans people, especially in the UK right now. And it's working. If you pay for that game, you're contributing. Well, what about that bill in Scotland where they wanted kids from the age of 16 to consider becoming a trans teenager? And thankfully, our Labour and Conservative governments came together to say, uh-uh, not happening, you can't do that. But this freakazoid right here is saying, well, if you buy the Hogwarts game, you're supporting trans... <laughs> but if you buy this game, you're supporting J.K. Rowling and anti-trans views. J.K. Rowling actually does stand up for those views. She just had one point of view that rings true, that there's only two biologies in this world you know you can't have somebody saying otherwise because it just ain't gonna happen is it let's carry on when what this freak show has to say now to that rolling has made it very clear she believes every penny of the residual checks that she gets to be proof that people support her and are fine with what she's doing and no matter what other rationalizations you have, oh, I'm supporting the devs. I just really love this universe. That's hey, listen, you can't blame the devs. I mean, they've this Avalanche Games have got a good relationship with Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers ain't a chicken change company, if you know what I mean. So they got the money. They want this game to hit it out of the ballpark because I guarantee you there are going to be sequels galore coming out for this game. And I suppose by that point, these trans activists will have got a little bit more long-winded tooth. Some might need a wheelchair to go around with and who's going to carry on their legacy and their fighting cause afterwards oh let me see um nobody fine but you are also contributing to transphobia although note i said if you buy it not if you play it there's a debate to be had about big streamers whether they should be boosting it but for your average person if you find a way to get it without paying for it well it's a topic i'm not sure to what uh Pirates of the Caribbean, oh I see, yeah, because you can pirate the game. Does this bozo know that if you try to pirate Hogwarts Legacy, I'm estimating it's probably going to be over a hundred gigabytes in size. So if you've got a computer to support that and that can run it, well, good luck to you, but I, you know, it's the best selling game so far this year on Steam, PlayStation 5, Xbox One. So I'm not so sure why people are thinking this is, yes, you know, if he's endorsing piracy, okay, and I've often endorsed it on my channel here, so don't wanna be a hypocrite. Uh, these people have nothing better to do, really. But I salute you, sir. A. Froman, the big sausage king of Chicago. <laughs> so let's just have a quick look at the reviews right here. So het, newest blood. Warner Brothers announced this game with much fanfare a long time ago, but Hogwarts Legacy lives up to all expectations. You can lose yourself for hours in the world where years later, Harry Potter will also have his adventures. If we could take two weeks off just for this game, we would do it in a heartbeat. Hogwarts Legacy has us spellbound like Elizabeth Hurley. And we never want to go back to the muggle world. PlayStation Universe, 
Hogwarts Legacy is a compelling fantasy RPG packed with stunning scenery, memorable characters, and fantastic combat. Not only is it a brilliant love letter to the fans of the Wizarding World, it excels as a game in its own right, so even non-Patter fans or Potter fans, I'm thinking of you, our pets, uh, will find themselves immersed in its great story and characters. Holy hell. You know, it's refreshing to hear that a video game is released on time, no bugs, no glitches. So confident are they about releasing this embargo early? I think Warner Brothers kind of knew there was going to be a bit of a, a Diana Ross, you know, chain reaction. You see what I did there? And it's working for them. I think it's hilarious. HL is the Wizarding World game that fans have dreamt of for years. It offers a dense and rich open world to explore, complemented perfectly by a surprisingly robust and engaging combat system unlike anything else you've ever seen. While the story does live in the shadow of its predecessors and managing gear can be repetitive, Hogwarts Legacy is a truly magical experience and I can't believe you said this, utterly bewitching, from beginning to end. Ooh, Samantha from Bewitch. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Grey Online, is that meant to be Gryffindor Online? Uh, it's a wonderful world. It makes it one of those games you'd just love to keep experiencing for the first time forever. And we envy anyone who's yet to step into it. Even if it's just a regular open world game, underneath all the magic, it's a truly excellent one. I think this is so fantastic. I mean, you know what? I have this horrible feeling, and I'm not instigating anything here, that the weird trans activists out there are going to go after the developers, people at Warner Brothers, simply because they wanted to release a game. A game, from, from the sounds of these reactions, that people that are not Harry Potter fans, like myself, but of course I'm a big fan of JK Rowling for many other reasons. <laughs> Bring us in. It's going to create a new fan base. And what, you're going to go after the people that buy the game, huh? Hmm? Really? Wow. I've even heard this very egregious thing that if streamers who play this game online, they're going to be targeted, they're going to be cancelled because some bluehead freak out there has devised a website. And I think it's something called... Um, uh, who's streaming the Harry Pot, the new, who's streaming the Hogwarts Legacy game, something like that. People haven't got anything better to do in their lives. But here we go. Surprise, surprise. The Guardian, they've given it a score of 60. Hogwarts Legacy starts to feel like countless open world games of the past decade once you've been playing it for more than 15 hours. However, you got to ride or get to ride a hippogriff. It's those magical moments and the setting that rescue it from mediocrity. Ah, and when you see who's written this, it's Kiza McDonald. And who is she? Well, I knew the minute I saw her name, she used to be a reviewer at Kotaku, then IGN, and now she's with The Guardian. Holy hell, how the mighty hath fallen. So, I'm going to sign this video off, folks, in the way that I normally do. Are you going to be picking up a copy of Hogwarts Legacy when it's released on the 10th of February? I believe I am. So, I can't wait to see what happens there. And you may have noticed that I've done a bit of house spring cleaning on my YouTube channel just to wind people up because I think it's going to be such a wonderful, wonderful look for my channel. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, and I think I might just even leave it that way forever and ever. Amen. So folks, if you enjoyed this video today, I know I'm kind of losing my mind at the moment at this meltdown. It's wonderful. Please leave a comment below please leave a like please share this video because youtube for some reason are just uh, stunting the growth of my channel because they like to do that because youtube are a bunch of morons every now and then i'm sorry susie would you keep but you're not returning my phone calls love and on that one if i were you and if you were me you better come back for the next video ah!
I'm Bill S. Preston, Esquire. Yeah, dude. And I'm Ted, Theodore Logan. And together we are Wild Stallions. Yeah.